Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I start a new series about Laravel 6 for beginners. So we start from scratch, it's gonna be for absolutely beginners. Uh, I have a brand new, very fresh installation of Windows 10 here. So I gonna install all the programs, all the packages we need to start with Laravel. So it's absolutely from the start. And if we get there to the to install Laravel 6, then we build a new project. It's gonna be a blogin project when you can register and log in users, register and log in admins, and uh, you the user can uh, upload posts with uh, images, user can have uh, user profiles, they can update their profiles. So we're gonna send out a password uh, remember token if they forget their password. So you can you can uh, put lot into this uh, project and you can step forward from here if you want to. So if you don't if you wanna follow me uh, on this journey then please subscribe down below and uh, you get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, so first of all, because it's a brand new installation of Windows 10, we need a code editor. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code, but you can go for PHP Storm, Sublime for Mac users, and Atom, or I, th I think mm, some, some more out there, but uh, I stick to the Visual Studio. So let's just uh, install it. That's done. Create a desktop icon. I take this one install launch it yep yeah. finish right so let's create a folder to our first project then open it with uh, Visual Studio so I go to our folders, I create a new folder here, like new blog. That's gonna be our project name, new blog. <laughs> right. And you can add this to the, uh, add, add the folder to the works, workspace or just simply open the folder. Uh, so let's just do this one open a folder and here we are here is our folder and we can create files or folders inside this uh, folder so let's create a new file let's call it index.html okay so the first extension I'm gonna install, it's uh, very useful and it's really speed up your uh, coding process. It's called Emmet. Emmet, sorry. So the very first one you're gonna need to install. Right, it's installed. Let's close this up. So uh, instead of typing in all the HTML and doc type and uh, body tags, all you need to do to get a HTML boilerplate, hit exclamation mark and hit tab on your keyboard and you get this uh, doc type, HTML head and body uh, tags with only two, two key. 
and if you want to for example a div with uh, some class you all you need to do is press dot and the class name is new class and hit tab and you get the div with a new new tab same with uh, if you want a div with id you just oh, sorry do new id hit tab and you get a div with new id and for example if you want a div with the same class like free free same div you just uh, hit dot and the class name more same class and how many times you want the, uh, this div like five times hit tab and you get the five same divs it's useful if you have a uh, list items for example if you need six list items star six tab and you get uh, six uh, list items straight away so it's really speed up your uh, coding process okay the next one we're gonna install is a uh, is a tag highlighter so it's gonna match the tags highlights tag matching install this one it was very quick it's already installed it so now you get this uh, uh, lighting up a yellow then it's a light yellow line so it's match your match your divs list items and all the other stuff okay so as we we're gonna work with Laravel I recommend you to install blade template engines like Laravel blade snippets install it yeah that's done as well it's gonna be useful when we get there get uh, we, when we start our first project you will see how useful it is it is okay so I think that's it for now you can you can also install um, bracket pair colorizer I recommend the the version 2 so install it it's gonna highlight the uh, JavaScript and other tags and brackets okay so that's it for VS code let's close this out close this one out as well okay so in order to start with Laravel you're gonna need exam it's gonna give you the PHP Apache server on your local machine and uh, MySQL database as well so basically it's gonna be a server running on your computer Next, we're gonna install composer which is a dependency manager for PHP and after that we're gonna install node.js and then we can start with uh, Laravel okay so install exam you can install it on any operation system I'm gonna use Windows hundred and forty six megabytes so it takes a couple of minutes mm -hmm. 
Okay, you always get this warning, uh, but I never had a problem with uh, XAMPP before. So basically just click OK and ignore this message. Next. Right, you can leave it as it is, but I'm gonna untick these three. You can leave it or you can untick this. Uh, it's absolutely up to you. But I unt untick these uh, three uh, options. Hit next. I leave it as a default, I always use it as a default. So install it where it want to. Right, uh, untick this one. We don't want to learn more about Bitnami things. Right. And the installation gonna take a couple of minutes as well. Right, so it was about 2-3 minutes and it wants to start the control panel now but please untick this one and I'll show you why. Right, so finish. Let's find it in our folder. C drive, exam. Scroll down and here is our control panel and we untick that box because we don't, didn't want to start this executable file, right click on it and run as administrator. And because we run it as administrator we can run it as a service in the background. So you can tick this box. Here you go. So if you would run this uh, uh, control panel without uh, administration permissions then you wouldn't be able to tick this box but now you are able and it's running as a in a background uh, so you get this uh, server as a, in a background right so we can start up our Apache server and MySQL database now if you want so let's click to start Apache running up and running start MySQL up and running okay so if we done everything right and we go back to our browser and we type in localhost as you can see we got our apache server up and running and if we go to oh yeah and by the way this file is served from here so we are in a exam folder find hd docs hd docs and here is the php index file Let's open it up with our freshly installed uh, VS code. Always open. Okay. Right, so here is the dashboard because you can see localhost slash dashboard. That's what you that's what you you can see in our browser. We can delete all of this and just echo some, uh, some uh, text outs like If we save it, go back to our browser and type in localhost as we did at the first time. As you can see, we, don't, we didn't get to redirect it to the dash, slash dashboard, but we got our uh, text here. Okay, and if we go to php myadmin. You can see we have uh, our basic database here, so we can create new databases, add tables and stuff like that, so we can start to work with it. And at the moment it doesn't have any uh, passwords, so 
in the real world uh, it wouldn't be so um, secure so if you want to add password to my uh, to your mysql database through php my admin then just click user account find the root user localhost add it change password and you can type in uh, the new password just let's give one two three four five one two three four five obviously it's not a strong password but for testing purposes it's gonna be it's gonna be good for us and then click ok or, or, or go and now if you would like to go back to your database you're gonna get errors because we have now passwords but we never never typed in any password and here you go it says access denied for user root and to give a password for exam all we have to do go back to exam folder find php my admin and find the config.inc let's open it with uh, visual code again <coughs> and if we scroll down you can see the user root and the password is empty now because it was empty before but we typed in one two three four five if we save it and we go back to php my admin again we logged in again but with the with the password okay so that's it for this video in the next video we're gonna install composer uh, node.js and uh, laravel as well so if you wanna follow me on that video as well please subscribe and stay tuned the new video comes out in a few hours